What's going on everyone? It's Adam here from the Raffle Gaming Collective and potentially still Adam's Nintendo World. We're not really sure yet because this is a very amateur production. But thank you so much for joining me for episode one of Kirby and the Forgotten Land on Nintendo Switch. We will be swapping between playing single player mode and cooperative mode with Lachlan throughout this Let's Play. We're going to be trying to do everything in every level if possible. Um... It might not be possible. I'm I'm not the greatest at video games. I just love them a lot. And uh, you guys come out to watch me play. So I do appreciate that. Once again, big shout out to the Australian eShop for getting me a little bit earlier access than you would if you purchased through the North American eShop. Just allows me to make videos a little bit ahead of uh, schedule, which is pretty handy for getting those first videos up on Friday morning. But guys, thank you so much for coming out. I have been looking forward to Kirby for a long, long time, and yeah, it's, it's, I thought it was going to be something like Mario Odyssey when I first saw the first couple videos, but when we played the demo back in early March, um, we quickly realized that it's still a traditional Kirby game with levels and worlds. It's still fairly linear, but, you know, 3D at the same time, so we can walk around this area if we like, and there might be a couple secrets here and there. But nothing that's that crazy, right? So, um, but we're okay with that. It's, uh, you know what? It, it doesn't bother me that it's not like Mario Odyssey. I know I kind of wanted it, and you guys know I've been championing, championing, championing. <laughs> I've been championing, me, 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 me. I've, uh, I've been wanting it kind of to be more like Mario Odyssey. I was hoping that was the direction we were going to get like a full... 3D Mario, but after playing the demo and um, and now loading this up again and kind of coming back to it after a couple weeks, I'm actually pretty content. Um, I'm actually pretty content with the game. Um, it, it's I, I'm not big into Kirby in, at all, like in general. It's not a big thing that I enjoy, but uh, this has been great. Uh, I still think it'll be a little bit more. Um, It'll, it'll be a little bit more appealing to those who don't or who haven't typically enjoyed Kirby games. Let me say that. I think that's true. And um, and so I think that this, this is going to sell really well. I'm thinking 10 million minimum. 10 million copies wouldn't shock me. Uh, 15 million, I think is... I said that in an earlier video, one of my um, best and worst of Nintendo videos. I did say, hey, could this hit 15 million? I'm going to backtrack that claim at this point and be like, mm, you know what? I don't actually think we could hit 15 million, but I think, you know, I think 10 million is definitely within the grasp. Uh, um, I've enjoyed what I've seen of it. The reviews have been pretty good. Um, and so, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be a game that a lot of people play, I think. And you know what? Maybe that'll may mean we'll get more Kirby games like this in the future. Um, I think last I checked, there's about 25 mainline Kirby games, not including remasters. They've sold about 35 million copies total across 25 games, which is not amazing. But this one, this one's going to break barriers. It's going to break um, sales records for Kirby games. Um, and I just can't wait to see what you guys are all thinking about it. So uh, if you got your copy, let me know. Interested to see what your opinions are. And who knows? Maybe this is a game where I'll actually produce a review uh, after I beat it. But. Anyway, like I said, the goal is to play through as much as possible to try to beat the entire game, to try to beat all the levels, get all the secrets. I don't often do that with Nintendo Switch games. You guys know that. Uh, but this might be one where we do that. Uh, if it feels like we're flying through this without thinking about it, it is because we've done this once already. It was uh, This was part of the demo uh, back in early March that you could play. There's a video of Lachlan playing the demo on the channel right now if you wanted to go back and watch it, but you're going to see all the levels from the demo replayed right now, so I wouldn't worry too, too much about it. We're going to lower the volume because this is going to be copyrighted music. I mean, I could sing it. Feast your eyes on a new world. I'm just kidding. I'll stop. But uh, enjoy the little cutscene here without audio. I'm sorry. 
I don't like having my videos uh, copyright claim though. So <laughs> such is life. This is what we're going to do. <laughs> but you probably haven't seen this yet. This was not part of the demo. The demo ended before this point. So enjoy the look and, uh, and we'll be right back at it. Okay, I think that's the end of the video, and if it's not, well, then I just got copyright claimed. <laughs> anyway, here we go. We're rolling into town in our Kirby car. That's what I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it the Kirby car. Whether I should call it the Kirby... Ooh, it's a Waddle Dee. This game is gorgeous. They did such a good job. Look at all those Waddle Dees being carried away. But we're not quite uh, finished the opening level yet. We're going to drive towards here. We can spit. And it's nice that the game kind of gives you a heads up. It's like, hey, you can't take this. Um, I even forget what they call them. The mouthful mode. You can't take this mouthful mode vehicle any further. So time to spit it out. I like that they give you that heads up so you don't like try to take it further. Like they tell you you can't. It's like you physically cannot spit it out. <laughs> All right. Let's see what's going on here. Jeez, is this a character we've seen before in Kirby? Because I feel like it's not. I feel like it might be a, a brand new character. To me, it's a brand new character. I don't remember seeing something like that before. All right, here we are. Kirby to the rescue. So I like how it creates these little battle arenas. Uh, and these will happen more often. They'll happen with boss battles. And it's like a little arena and you don't, you know, break out of the arena until you've defeated everything uh, that's within it, which is kind of cool. Uh, it kind of keeps the battles contained as well when you're going to fight uh, enemy after enemy. I, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. All right, let's move on and whack that. Oh, there's a little moonwalk in there. Did you guys see the moonwalk? I saw the moonwalk. Wow. Phew, you saved me. Thank you. Uh, but what about those other guys? The Waddle Dees. They were all captured and taken away. We fought those beasts as hard as we could, but they kept coming back for more. Now I'm the only one left. I have to go save them. I have to. Well, we'll help you with that. So this, I'm going to guess, is the destroyed Waddle Dee town. What? You'll help me save everyone? That's great. So, your name is Kirby. I'm Elphalyn. Nice to meet you. All right, Elphalyn. Let's do this thing. To the world map. Hey, Kirby. All right, we're going to unlock multiplayer mode here. Select player, co play co-op from the pause menu to player two control banana, bandana, waddle D. Work together by playing together. Boy, am I glad to see you. I got pulled through that vortex over to planet Popstar too. If you ever wanted a second player to join in, just let me know. I'll always be ready to go. Okay, and this is the character that when I play with Lachlan, Lachlan will play as. He'll play as Waddle D. But for now, let's head for that. Uh, let's head for the overworld and see what's going on there. Cool, this is exciting stuff. Exciting stuff. All right, world number one, natural planes. Each episode of this Let's Play will be a full world. So this episode will not be over until we've done everything we can in this world. Now, if we get to a point where it's Adam sucks at video games and we can't beat a world, then such is life. But for now, let's hop into the downtown grasslands. So excited, let's get going. 
Okay, so we have missions. Three of them are hidden, but two of them are very plain. We have to clear the stage. That'll get us three Waddle Dees, and we need to save the hidden Waddle Dees. And in this level, there are three of them to find, and then three mystery objectives. Now, we've played the demo, so we do know that the mystery objectives are taking down an awning, finding the five um, tulip coins, and there's one more. I just don't remember what it is, but I'm happy to have my sword with me uh, by my side, because this, uh, this is the way to go. All right, um, you might be hearing me clicking away with the controller. I got a new controller in that I'm currently reviewing uh, from Power A, so uh, trying that out. Uh, I also use a lot of controllers from PDP Gaming. There's an affiliate link as well as a coupon code down in the coupon, coupon code down in the description box down below the video. You can uh, use that link to buy something. I get a little bit of a kickback, of course, uh, that supports the channel. But you can also use my code and you can save 10% off your total purchase. So be sure to check that out. That is pdp.com coupon code AdamRaffle10. If you use the link down below, though, that helps me out just a little bit more. We are going to go into Mouthful mode here. Give me that! <laughs> I love the bending. And when you shoot the uh, when you shoot the soda cans, you can actually go pick them up again, um, as long as they didn't weren't used to hit a target. You see, they'll bounce off the walls and stuff, and then they'll fly back, and then you can just pick them. Up. If they hit a target, though, they're gone. Uh, so don't expect to hit targets and then get your get your uh, your cans back. That's not how it works. All right, let's knock this down. There we go. And that was Break the Building Awning. So we just did one of the uh, little things in the corner there. You can't see it because of our logo. Uh, to a point where I wonder... Where are we going here? All right, we have to, uh, we have to get rid of this. We can't go any farther. So as you can see, it told me to spit out the, the thing because it's like, hey, you can't go farther than this with the soda machine. So those are the little things that just kind of help you along in the game. And this is not on easy mode. There is an easier mode you can play. It is the way Lo Lo Lachlan likes to play. Not the way I like to play, though. I like to do things a little bit harder, but nothing against those that don't. All right, let's take this guy down. Perfect. I don't think I needed to take him down, but we did anyway. All right. Um, I think that's kind of everything. We move on to the next area of the map. Whoops. Come on. There we go. Hopping on those stars isn't as easy as you might want them to be. These graphics are gorgeous, though. Man, this game looks good. Wow. I'm impressed. I'm really impressed. All right. Um, there's a little bomb guy. I don't know if he's beneficial to this run. There are certain situations where you see a specific character, um, and then you realize, oh, that character might be important to completing some of those secondary objectives. Um, so just be on the lookout for what maybe some of the secondary objectives are. And you'll be able to decide, hey, do I need to swap over to a different uh, character or a different um, ability or not? In this case, in this situation, just because I played these levels during the demo, I know that I don't actually need to swap over to something different. Uh, I'll be fine using my sword guy and right now using the cone in mouthful mode. There we go. Let me know in the comments, are you playing? I'm genuinely curious to know if you guys are playing this game. <laughs> I've been waiting. Lachlan, of course, has been waiting for this so long. You guys have been very generous in your donations to him so that he is able to purchase a copy of the game. Uh, thank you guys so much for, for being so kind to Lachlan during his streams. I know it means a lot to him. Uh, and it means a lot to myself as well, actually, that, uh, that you guys not only support me on the channel, but you're supporting him as well. And supporting Seth as well, guys. Thank you so, so much. We are partially the reason why we're working on that name change and again at this point that I'm recording it might be it might not be we're not we're not quite sure yet um but when it is official uh it'll just be to to show uh, the the diversity on the channel it's not just Adam and it's not just Nintendo so hopefully you guys understand hopefully you guys are looking forward to PlayStation 5 content Xbox content Seth's going to have some solid PC content. It, it's going to be awesome. I know it will be. All right. Uh, boss. For, I don't know why we have to fight these two guys first before the boss comes, but there we go. All right. So the camera in the corner is kind of blocking it, but let's go. Oh, get out of here. There we go. Come on. You can't touch this. 
Alright, he's gonna go for a shield. That's okay, we'll just run around the back. And we'll do this, and now we just go. Go to town. Go to town. Can we take him down? We're almost there. Oh, he's coming at me. He's coming at me. He's not the hardest boss. There are harder bosses, I'm sure. Uh, but this guy, not too tough. He's done. You would think, hey, end of the level. It's not... Oh, I got to speed again. I forgot. There we go. Not the end of the level. We're going to grab the sword, though. Uh, oh, I got to get rid of this ability. I just like this sword. It's just so... It's so... Traditional. <laughs> it's traditional, and I like it. Okay, we've saved one of the Waddle Dees, one of the three, and they are in a specific order. So you remember the red coins in like the Mario three or the Mario games where you had to collect three red coins, and if you missed the first coin and got the second coin, the game would like let you know you missed the first coin by like leaving an opening. This game does the same thing. If you were to miss a Waddle Dee, it fills in the Waddle Dees proportionate to where you are in the game. So if I had missed the Waddle Dee I just picked up. That first, that first opening, um, that's not the right word, but that first, that first slot, that first Waddle Dee slot would be empty. Um, and then you'd know for next time, oh, I missed a Waddle Dee in the first half of the game or the first third of a game or whatever. It is. So a little tip there. Very handy. There we go. Second Waddle Dee. Let's go get it. That's good stuff. So in the demo, this is sparkling, and we didn't know why. Um, and I have a feeling there could be something good there. I don't know if I can find a bomb guy and get up there. Is there a bomb guy around here anywhere? I don't think there is. I think we have to show up with one. At some point, we'll run in and we'll check that out, because I am curious to see what might be there. Oh, jeez. I hate these friggin' bunnies jumping around. They make, uh, they make some levels a little bit more difficult. Take that guy down. And then this. I just I just love this this. Like they've done such a good job building the level. Yeah, there you go, buddy. There you go. They've done a good job building these levels. These enemies are so interesting. They're unique. Just I love it. That's the third Waddle D. We've got them all. We've did the awning. Um Oh, there's another coin right there, I think. Tulip coin. That gives us, I think, four tulip coins. Oh, jeez. All right, that's one and two. All right, we need one more tulip coin, and I actually know where it is. It's just up here. So let's hop up here. Not here. We're going to go past this guy. And uh, hop up here, and we're going to watch out for the bull, who's going to run right off the edge. But there is our last tulip coin. We got all five tulip coins. We're going to get back into mouthful mode. This is one of the more... I see why they put this so early in the game. This level with the mouthful mode is just brilliant. This whole little... Ooh, wow. This whole little section right here uh, with this... Uh, I forget what it's called. It's a turtle thing. That, I, I don't remember. It's like a turtle thing. This is just brilliant. The, the mechanics here, the way this level is built. Like, it's just so good. Like, this is so well done. Kudos to... Uh, HAL Laboratories, kudos to Nintendo and everybody else involved in making this because what a treat this first level is to play. It really is a treat. Um, I love it. I love it. And we're almost done level one. Just got to save the last three Waddle Dees. Right there. And uh, we're off. Those crows can't take us on. <laughs> there we go. All right. That's a level beaten. Three Waddle Dees saved. Or actually, nine Waddle Dees saved. Let's see if we did everything. Yeah, we did. There we go. Make five tulips bloom, break the building shutters, and ride the spewing water up to the top. Perfect. And uh, got a lot of coins. I'm sure the coins are going to be spent in Waddle Dee Town, I assume. We got a Kirby. Uh, Kirby was pulled into a mystery. I'm not going to read these all. There's a lot of them. There you go. We got Kirby. We got the blue star coin. Very nice. And we got a switch. I don't know what this two star, three star stuff means. We'll probably figure out at some point what that means, but this level is done, complete, finished. Took us about 10 minutes, which is what I'm going to say each level will roughly take. Probably about 10 minutes. I think so. I think probably roughly 10 minutes per level. And as you can see, nine out of nine Waddle Dee saved. 
Which means... We've got the cool little star there with the red on the inside. I think that means you've 100 percented the level. Your figure collection is now available. Use this to view all the figures you've collected. See if you can collect a full set. Cool. All right, let's move onward. We are through the tunnel. Uh, next episode. Let's hop in. Okay, uh, clear the stage. Save the hidden waddle Ds. And of course, again, three different mysterious objectives that we're going to try to complete. Man, I'm excited. I've, I've enjoyed this through the tunnel. All right. Um, look, I can already see a fire guy that we can grab. So this level was not in the demo. This level was not in the demo. So we'll have to um, keep our eyes out for hidden objectives. So that's why I'm kind of walking around back here just because... All right, I'm going to drop this ability. And there we go. I think this fire ability is going to be something I want. Uh, <laughs> maybe. Seems like there's a lantern back A lantern back here. Let's see what we can do. Oh, light four lanterns. So we just, we did figure out what one of the hidden ability, one of the hidden requirements is. Perfect. All right, let's continue into the level and see if we can't figure out where the other lanterns are and what else is going on. Anything over here? Uh, that's a bomb. So if we, is that going to blow this? Oh, perfect. A little stash of coins. Anything else back here? Nothing else. You gotta check though with these games, right? There could always be something, a little something hidden. There we go, that guy's done. Anything here? Nope. All right, let's head up through the tunnel. I don't think this is the tunnel it's talking about, but we'll see, uh, we'll see. All right, let's test out a theory. If I set something on fire, can I walk through it? Yeah, I can. Nothing happens to me. All right, so we can uh, skip this area and not go through the middle, but I feel like I want to go through the middle. Uh, mouthful. No, 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 no. Grab that back. You don't have to get rid of your ability when you go into mouthful mode, so don't make that mistake. And then we'll spin around, and uh, looks like a switch. We'll top in, hit the switch, and... We found ourselves a little hidden area. What's in here? I don't know what that is, but there is a chest with a Waddle D. Perfect. And a bunch of foxes. Oh, we should probably go grab the Waddle D. <laughs> All right. Oh, there's four Waddle Ds in this level. I did not see that early on. Okay. Four Waddle Ds for us to find. That's okay with me. That's one. Um... Like I said, we want to do everything in every level, so that means that could mean some backtracking. It could mean some replaying some levels. Ideally, though, we would figure out how to do everything. Right, here we go. Ideally, we would figure out how to do everything on the first go around. Is there anything hidden over here? See, that's the thing. I'm always nervous. There's something hidden. There is not. All right, let's go through the door. Where's this taking us to? Ooh. Okay, here's the second lantern. At least I hope it's the second one. I hope I haven't missed any yet. But here we go. That's a lantern. Um, this looks interesting. That's a coin hidden back there. Jeez oh, Louise. Okay, so these guys fire. I can't walk through. So even though I have the fire ability, I cannot walk through there. Oh, man. I cannot walk through. <laughs> that was so close. Here's another lantern. That's three. Hey, there is something behind there. Um, looks like I can climb up here. One, two. I want to get the coins, right? And there's a switch. I'm going to guess that the switch opens the gate. And inside the gate, there is a little statue thing for us to collect. Fantastic. Okay. We've got that. Let's keep moving. Oh, jeez. I cannot get up there. Almost screwed that up. Um, just trying to keep on top of things. It's like, oh my goodness, this is hurting. But here's some food. Do I see a lantern? I don't. Oh! I want that coin. <laughs> oh, there's a there's the fourth lantern. 
So we just have to hopefully make sure that we... Oh, give me that, give me that, give me that, give me that, give me that. All right, and that should be four. Um, how do I get in here? Have you guys seen this? Oh, looks like there's a secret way up. Oh, look at this, brilliant. Okay, so we're gonna sneak back this way. And of course, there's a bomb. And another Waddle Dee, thank you so much. That's the second one. So as you can see, we've gotten all the Waddle Dees so far. We don't need to be worried about that. We got some more food and we can leave this area. All right, interesting stuff. Where are we now? I just don't want to miss anything. And I, can I? Hold up. Um. Oh, okay, so here's a cannon. Oh, look at this, this is so awesome. All right, so we're gonna light the fuse, like this, and then we're gonna run, because um, we gotta hop into the cannon. <laughs> oh, this is so brilliant. We have to hop into the cannon and it's gonna shoot us up here. And I'm gonna guess we're gonna save ourselves another Waddle Dee. That's so brilliant. Oh my goodness, that was cool. Okay. And then it gives me platforms to get back down. I don't know why. Because I can set this thing off again if I need to. Wow, okay, cool. Let's just deal with this guy. Oops, not fast enough. And we're moving on. So we've got three Waddle Dees. So I gotta assume we are somewhat near the end. Oh, geez, that's not what I wanted. All right. Uh, I don't think we need to defeat this thing. Although, that's the thing. There could be a... The thing that I got to remember is there really could be a uh, special mission slash achievement for destroying all the enemies. Like, there really could be. I wouldn't say it's unlikely that that could happen. But... What is going on here? Let me grab this for a second. We, oh, it's another mouthful mode. I wonder how many there's gonna be in this game. Fall over. Fall. Oh, I see, interesting. Okay, and can I defeat any, oh yeah, I can. Okay, so I'm gonna come here and then we're gonna fall over that way. Brilliant! Okay, there we go. I'm saying brilliant a lot today. I don't know why. Let's grab all those. Great stuff. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, I don't hate this one. Alright, I don't want to go too much farther though because there is something up here. So let's park ourselves right here and then we're going to spit out. And then we're going to hop up the stairs. And do this, because it's gonna blow open this. And there we go, we got another little capsule with a toy inside. That's good. All right, let's hop down. Mouthful mode again. And we're gonna move on with the uh, stairs. This is so cool. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. All right, uh, fall over. So you just press the direction you wanna fall. So that's great stuff. Okay, uh, there's something up here. Looks like a... Um, Oh, remove something. We've removed uh, the poster. So that's good. Okay. Uh, and then we need to do this. Because we're going to light this cannon, but we need to get up there first. I'm just going to go over here really quickly and see what's here. All right. Nothing really. We're going to use the stairs to get up on that ledge. But besides that, we can definitely do this and then make our way up here and hop into the cannon and then... Wait a second, what happened? I think it's getting cut off. I think the... Oh, we can't stick the... Th we can't stick the ladder on top, so we have to put it here. And actually, if you guys take a peek... Oh, let's spit out for a second. If you take a peek, there is actually a little thing here that kind of lets you know, hey, push up against this. 
Okay, awesome. I love that there's that little bit of a, a, a change. Like, you gotta be paying a little bit of attention. All right, let's go. It's not like it's hard to get into the cannon prior to it going off. So I'm, like, not that worried about it. But here we go. Ow. Up to the top. Yes, please. We saved the fourth Waddle Dee. Which is great stuff. Grabbing some coins. Let's open this chest. Lots more coins. We still don't know what the... That can be broken. How do I break that, guys? you have any ideas? I'm not crazy, but... Do I need to bring a bomb guy back for that? Uh, can this guy... Oh, I don't want to kill him. Dang. I wonder if I can come through and then come back. I'm going to try to go through and then try to come back. I just want to... S oh, you can't go back. Mm. I wonder if the boomerang guy could have broken in. Or if I have to bring a bomb guy into this level. See, that's what I think might also be the case. Like, I think there, co there comes to a point where maybe you have to bring a bomb guy into the level to do some stuff. Or in other levels, bring different things in to uncover some secrets. Who knows? Uh, but in my mind, I know the things I want to do in each level. And we'll do those at a later time. It looks like we found everything, though. Find the secret room. Find the light. Light the four lantern switches. Remove the wanted poster. That's everything. Uh, okay, we got the cone head Kirby. Cone mouth Kirby. We got a waddle, a band bandana waddle D. That's it. Okay, cool. There's another level in the books. Yeah, so 10 to 12 minutes per level, it seems. Good stuff. I'm loving this. This is, this is awesome. Rocky Rollin' Road also was not part of the demo. The other demo level was something about a mall, if I remember correctly. But that is this level done 100%. And looks like we're opening up a couple bonus levels. There's one and two. Um, we'll save bonus levels for its own video. Although there could be rare items in there. Ah, uh, do we want to do the bonus levels? There's two of them. Uh, yeah. You know what? Let's tackle each of the bonus levels. We'll try to get these done. Because I want to see what kind of rare items. We'll see what it is. Cutter, tr uh, treasure road, cutter, throw and catch treasure collecting. Target time one minute. And we're using the boomerang guy. So we want to do this whole level in one minute. <laughs> I have no idea what this is going to be like, but we'll see. All right. And go, go, go. Oh, come on. There we go. All right. That moves us on to the second area. So we're going to go like this. I don't care about you. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Um, start. Try again. Oh, wait. Start. Try again. I have a feeling that if we fell off, we're not going to hit the minute mark. <laughs> and go. All right, let's not, let's be careful. Let's get in, there we go. That's one done. There we go. Let's go up. And I'm not going to waste any time here. I'm not going to fight the guy because I feel like fighting the guy is a waste of time. All right, we're going to take the hit on the damage there. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. I'm taking the hits in damage because I don't think it's worth my time. I don't think it's worth my time trying to kill these guys. I don't. Okay, let's go across. Like, I think I just gotta do this as fast as possible. Come on. There we go. How are we doing? I think we have like 20 seconds left. I think we got three minutes total. So we're gonna do this, do that, do No! Oh my goodness. No, 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 no. Ah. We're not doing this in time. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Let's try again. We just need the perfect throws. Like, that's what we need, right? There we go. That's one done. So now we head this way. We're heading up the mountain. And we're going to ignore the dog or the wolf. Because we can do this without dealing with the wolf. This is not that hard. There we go. We did that in one go. And we did that. That was quick. That was efficient. That was a very efficient first little bit. 
So now let's keep going and seeing if we can be equally as efficient. There we go. We're gonna come across, come across. I feel like this is, this is feeling like a good run. There we go, we grab that and we're just gonna circle back. This is feeling, I'm feeling strong right now. I'm feeling good about this. I'm feeling good about that, like this is, this is great. This is a good run. Um, oh, I gotta stay out of there, okay. No, 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 no. This whole run's going to crap. This whole run's going to crap. Come on, I've got, oh, maybe not. Maybe we're gonna be okay. Maybe we're gonna be okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Do I need even to beat those guys, or can I just take this? There we go. That was under a minute. I think that was under a minute. Yes, 52 seconds. So now we can see what they claim the prize is, right? So let's see what the prize is. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Um, Here we go. So we popped out. We beat the time. We got that cool little star. Oh, we got one star. And it's blue. And so these ones you can see here are yellow or golden red. These are blue and or golden blue so let's hop into this other one and see what this one's all about okay triple strike bowling for switches this one sounds interesting. I'm excited to give this a go. Bowling for switches. I don't even know what this might be about. That's what's crazy here. Okay, triple strike for bowling for switches. Go. Oh, I see, okay. We're doing this. One, two, three. Oh, I could see this being tough. I could see this being tough. All right, bowling for switches. Oh my goodness. Bowling for switches. There we go. Okay, so they will hit the ramp and just go down themselves, right? So I don't need to be so... Aw, oh, man, I gotta do that. There we go. We're moving through this at a fairly good pace, I guess. Um, over there. Over there. And let's go. There we go. Onward. This is fun, actually. I like the bowling for switches. Jump over everybody and grab the thing. I don't know what the target time was. Maybe the target time was 30 seconds. It took us 38. Uh, target time was 30 seconds. <laughs> I was feeling so good, but it's like, nah, you shouldn't feel so good. You did a bad job. We still got a star though, but... Oh. I'm confused. So this one's a sparkling blue and gold. This one's sparkling blue and gold too, but I did not beat the... I don't really know, guys. Do you, are, you, are you noticing anything different? One star sparkling. One star sparkling. And we didn't beat the target time. Best time 38, target time. Oh, okay, so if I go in here, it'll tell me if I beat the target time, I bet. Oh, yeah, there's a little check mark. Uh, I feel like let's give this one more go. We'll try to beat the target time of 30 seconds. I was being way too careful, forgetting that I was throwing these bombs down a ramp. Like, I can't forget I'm throwing bombs down a ramp. Of course they're gonna roll. I don't need to think about this for so long. Right? Like, there we go. Oh, that wall. Ah, oh, man. Okay, you know what? That was a bad start. Try that. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. I hit the jump button instead of the throw button. So we just throw these down and get a move on to the next stage. This is not that hard. And like, again, knowing there's ramps, just throw, 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 and I didn't get, oh, you gotta be kidding. I didn't get one. Oh, that's such a kick in the pants. That's such a kick in the pants. Oh, we're not gonna win. We're gonna be better than last time, surprisingly, but like not good enough to win. Ugh, that was 34 seconds. We move on though, uh, 33 seconds. 
we'll come back. At some point, we'll come back. We'll beat the max time. Unless we figure out that there is really is a great bonus for doing it. But until we find out there's a great bonus for doing it, we are going to move on to Rocky Rolling Road. Let's hop into it. All right, obviously clear the stage, save the hidden Waddle Dees, and three mystery objectives that we don't know about right now, but we're going to figure them out. Rockin' Rollin' Road. Obviously, whatever, um, if we can get ourselves access to a new ability, we're obviously going to do that. And we did. We have the ability to, oh, become a spike. All right, well, that'll prove valuable. Although, you know what's more valuable than a spike? A gun. A blunderbust. <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh, take me on. Oh, geez, that was close. Boom! Oh, no, I lost my blunderbust. I guess that's what happens when he hits you. There we go. Come on, get out of here. <laughs> okay, I can get behind the blunderbust. What you doing, boy? What you doing, mushroom? Let's go. Oh, fruit. Never hurts to grab that fruit. Okay. Um, don't want to get squished. I feel like I can shoot this. Like that. Perfect. Uh, okay. So that's gonna come. Oh, jeez. Oh no. Take him down. <laughs> that thing gets big. Like, wow, that thing gets big. All right, we're gonna shoot this. Just to get ourselves a green coin. Okay. Um, let's go! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of here. Alright, what happens if we hit this target? Oh, nice. It blows this up and we almost get crushed. But there is one of our banana... Ba not bandana. It's just a regular Waddle Dee. One of our regular Waddle Dees. Alright, up we go. Oh, this is going to be tricky. Okay. The, um, what are these things? Oh, okay, whatever it was, I hit it, and that was good. Because we got this, and methinks there's something over here. Oh, yeah, there is. Found the side road. That was one of the missions. That was one of the missions. And there's a little bit of uh, vegetables up on that crate, so let's take that. And then we're going to mouthful this thing. We've seen this a lot now. And inside, of course, is a toy. Or a collectible. Whatever you want to call them. I've been calling them toys. Feels like I should be calling them collectibles. Alright. Um, onward. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Boom. No! Give me that back. I might have lost the duel, but I will not lose the war. There we go. And we're going to do this. Shoot the target. The longer you hold it, the bigger the little star thing you find is. So, you can just hold it to make it really big. What is this? This is just a blunderbust hat, so maybe a minigame of some kind? Kind of looks like it could be a minigame. So that can hit all three, right? And then we'll do that. And we will do that. Does that hit all of them? We did. Oh, we got all these items and a little treasure chest. Cool, I wonder if this is... Oh, it's one of the hidden Waddle Dees. Perfection. We've got two hidden Waddle Dees. Okay, that was like just a little minigame built into the world. I like that. That's nifty. Oh, jeez. I didn't think he would come back alive. It's just like, uh, it's just like Elden Ring, right? When you uh, go somewhere, it... enemies come back alive. All right, where are we going? This guy's got a sword. Oh, eat snacks off three tree trunks. There we go. That's another one done. We are making... Or at least I feel like we're making quick work of this level. Oh, jeez. <laughs> go, fr friend. Yeah, we'll sneak past you. We're not worried about that. We'll get that, though. See you guys. You're going to get squished. Oh, I feel so bad for him. Grab this, grab this, grab this, grab this. Hit the switch. Oh, another Waddle Dee. Perfect. We'll grab that, and looks like the ball's gonna fall right through that hole. 
Whew. That was close. That was close. All right. People should clean up their trash. There is a lot of trash in this town. Anybody else noticing that or just me? All right. Do I need the bomb guy? I hope not because I just destroyed him. Uh, we're coming down. You know what? Oh, I should have checked if I... Can I hop on top of the car here? Hold up. I want to see if I can hop on top of the car. And then can I hop up on this awning? Because I was wondering if there's any, like, secret over here that I could have gone to look at. But it doesn't really look like it. Alright, let's get in the car. I love the car. This is my favorite mouthful for, so far. For sure. We're gonna go! I need to be careful around these corners. <laughs> Look at me whip around the corners! Uh oh. Okay, so we can't get through the boulders. I was like, oh, maybe we can get through the boulders with the car. Nope, apparently not. Alright, we're swinging around! Jump! And what's in here? Oh! Waddle D number four. That's all of them. That's all the hidden Waddle Ds. Uh, anything else in here that should be interesting? Doesn't look like it, so we can come down. And let's, uh, let's move on. Up this hill. Come between. Oh, we're done! Okay. I wonder if we did everything. Drive without falling off. That was one of the, um, secondary objectives to do to get more Waddle Dees, and we did that. So let's get rid of this, and save our friends, and... That was a short level. I did that one in just under seven minutes. So, they're not all 10 to 12. That one was only seven. And we did everything. Yep. Save the Waddle Dees. Find the side road. Eat snacks off three tree, tree trunks, tree stumps. Drive without falling off the edge. Done. So far, we've 100%ed every level. But this is world one, so I don't expect it to be overly difficult. Maxim Tomato. And, oh, cool. That thing. Uh, Dome Mouth Kirby. Cool. Onward. We should go visit Waddle D Town at some point. Uh, but we'll keep going just because I'm saving up. Let's see here. Uh, a trip to... Oh, I missed that. A live mall, I think it said? I wonder if we're going to open up any new um, objectives. Doesn't really look... Oh, yeah, there we go. There's another one right there. Another one right there. Yeah, we could do a whole episode of just playing through all of these things. Um... What I think we'll do... Search. Hold up. What's this? Let's go check this out. It just says search. I don't know what that means. You found a hidden portal to a treasure road. Let's see what's inside. Okay. Oh, the star must be the difficulty. Is there any more of these? I just haven't even thought to look. That's Waddle D Town. We did this one, right? This is the bomb one. Yeah, we did that. Search. Oh, we found another one. Okay. We'll save these for at the end. Before we do the final boss, we'll hit up all these treasure roads. I think that's the best idea. And then we'll do that for now on as we move, because you can see there's a desert world coming up. We'll do that in each world. We'll save all the little treasure ones for before we do, like, the final boss for each world. All right. So we got one, two, three, four to do. But we are moving on to a trip to a live arrival. A live old mall? mall? I don't know. Let's hop in. Let's see what this one's all about. Okay, a trip to a live old mall. There's what we need to do. Three hidden objectives, as always. Let's hop in. I think this is the level that we saw in that, like, very, very, very first trailer. It has to be, right? That was a mall. At least I believe it was a mall. Either way, I'm excited to check this one out. <clears throat> uh, boom, boom, boom. Grab a couple coins. What the heck is that little... It's, looks like a caterpillar up there or something? Shoot up the escalator. Jeez Louise, what is that? Yeah, it was like a little caterpillar thing. What is over here? Can I do anything over here? Uh, that might be out of bounds. I might die if I fall. <laughs> I'm thinking I would have died if I fell down there. That's okay. Let's go around in the corner. Those are cool little uh, banners. Nifty stuff. All right. If I keep coming this way, was there anything I missed? Doesn't look like it. Onward. 
I gotta get those caterpillar things before they can roll up and start flying at me again. The blunderbuss kind of, like, if you're prepared, the blunderbuss kind of feels like a, an unfair weapon. Just because you can do everything from afar, which to me seems to make everything pretty easy. I could be wrong. Alright, there we go. Let's take that guy down. Ice cream. Oh, there's something on top of here. Okay, coin, 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 coin. Wow. Okay. That was generous. Let's take that guy. This guy's still not dead, eh? Wow. How many shots? Oh, I wonder if I could have swallowed him up. I didn't even try. That would have been cool. If I could throw bones at people. Hot dang. I should have. Can I get in here? No. Um... All right, let's see if I can't... Let's drop this ability, and can I take this ability? No, okay, so I can't take that ability. So come back here. There we go. Okay, so we can't become one of those things that throws the bones. Which is okay. But it's good to know. Uh, knock these boxes down. And there's a lot of wolves in here. Like, a lot. Um, let's go up first, I guess. I just don't know what's up here. It's hard to shoot up an escalator. Easy to shoot down one, hard to shoot up one. Uh, the boxes. Oh, there is something right here. And can I shoot this open? There we go. We found a hidden secret. I mean, not that hidden. It's just one of those little collectibles. But still, nonetheless. Get rid of that guy. That guy scares me when he starts rolling up into a ball. All right, let's hop. Ranger. Oh, does this give us, like, invincibility? Kind of feels that way, doesn't it? Oh, I can see why that would be important. Uh, let's go in here. How long does this invincibility last for? Take these guys out. Oh, we saved a Waddle Dee. That's the first one, so we haven't missed any yet. Hello? Oh, I can't. All right, so we're done with our invincibility. I can see why it was valuable getting past all those bombs. Besides the Waddle D, there's something back here. Oh, a pile of coins. And then let's take care of that rabbit. And then let's hop down. Anything else down here? Doesn't seem so. Let's keep moving on. Into the star room or whatever we call these things. The bonus room. Um. Oh, I maybe wanted that guy. Oh, mouthful mode? What is this? Keep going. There's something back there. Oh, I gotta go up and down. Okay. Um, it's a map of some kind. Okay, so it's saying to go that way? But it's also saying there's a burger somewhere? I'm not quite sure. It says to go this way. What's the... Oh. Maybe this does get a little 3DE. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I thought it was going to be treasure. No. Get me out of here. <laughs> I got tricked. All right, what's up here? Ah, this might be like a little bit of a maze. Can I go back? I can't go back. This might be a level we have to do multiple times. I mean, I don't really need to take on these things. Um, let's grab the spike. And the spike's done, so let's grab the fire. Oh, boss! Oh, fire's probably good against this guy. He's like, uh... Get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way! Yeah, show me your backside, that's fine. Uh-oh, he's coming. He's coming! Oh, what the heck? Oh, I can break that, though. Take him down, take him down, take him down, take him down! Oh, he's almost gone. All right, get out of the way, get out of the way, worth Oh, whoa, 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 are we inside him? Oh, jeez. 
that hurt. <laughs> but he's down. Cool, that was like another one of those little mystery world bosses. And I'm going to say we want that ability. Okay, we are like the ice. Oh, we can freeze things and then push them, I bet. Boom! Boom! Okay! I can get used to this. I can get used to this. And then just boom! Come here, pooch! <laughs> Alright, hold up. Oh no, the gold coin's gone. Can I get up here? Probably not. No, I can't. Okay. So I'm curious what was on all those other... Oh, jeez. I'm curious what was on all those other areas, like those other platforms. Or the other... Not the other platforms. The other routes I could have gone, right? Because I could have gone all of those um, different routes. On that in that one area where we had the picture of the like the cheeseburger, I'm actually curious. All right, here we go. Let's go. Oh no 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 no! Oh man, disappointing. And I bet you there was like a little achievement for getting everything on that conveyor belt. Stupid. Oh, that's so different. Infuriating. What the heck? All right. Um. I mean, there's something over here. Oh, hold up. They're gonna hit this, right? And I think this'll... Oh, look at us go. Oh, right there it is. There we go, and... There's gonna be a button. The button's gonna open the door. And the door will... No, 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 no! Oh, okay, it just goes back and forth. Okay, that's good. Maybe, unless it goes back inside. No, it's gonna come back and forth. All right, perfect. Let's keep going. We've missed a Waddle D. We're gonna have to come back to this level. This is a little bit of a confusing one. And I'm not even sure you could beat this in one go. Like, that's my opinion on it. I'm not sure you could beat this in one go. Let's give this a go. Oh, geez. All right, what's going on here? Let's go in mouthful mode and see what happens here. There'll be something hidden. Hey, so there's an ice cream here. Hold up. There's an ice cream there. Does that go up? Oh, that goes up there. Oh, guys, look. It's telling us where to go. It's telling us where to go. Brilliant. So we want to go. This is a pretty deep. This is a pretty sweet level. I was not paying attention to the signs up on the wall. But this is the way we need to go. Uh, oh, jeez. So we went the completely wrong way. I don't need to fight all those guys. I, pr I mean, I probably do for the uh, for the sake of the episode or like the bonuses, but uh, let's just move our way up. I kind of just want to finish and then re-explore this level because something is not right. Like I've, I haven't, I've. Something I haven't figured out yet. All right, come on, tip over. Oh, we're taking down the whole wall. <laughs> All right, oh, and here's the end of the level. We're gonna go up top first though, because there's a ladder here. There is a ladder, but this was a difficult level. This was a very difficult level. Uh, I might actually want that. I don't actually know. Is there a thing to shoot down here? No. 
Oh yeah, there is. That is a thing to shoot, right? Oh no, that's just a thing. Never mind, it's just more trash, because these guys are like all about their dang trash. Is there anything back here? Like if I come back, anything to shoot a blunderbust with? No. Okay. Let's finish this level. And then we will uh we'll come back. Because we obviously missed a bunch of stuff. I don't even know what some of the hidden objectives were, but we'll see them in just two seconds. And, uh... Okay, so save the hidden Waddle Dees, eat four donuts, eat an invisible candy, which apparently we did, navigate the mall without getting lost. So we technically got lost because we took a wrong turn. Ugh! All right. We'll try this one again. We'll figure it out. Oh, that guy's awesome. What is that? Tortooling. <laughs> That's from the first level. And the car, of course. Brilliant. All right, on to what's next. Question, I guess, becomes, do we continue playing these levels? Like, do we 100% them before we move on to the next world, or do we just keep moving and then come back and clean up? I feel like I want to run through them again and find the the missing things. I mean, we've, we found enough Waddle Dees to open up the final level. Uh, the brawl at the mall. Yeah, that was in the demo, actually. Okay, uh, the wild bees help you open the gate that blocked your way. Head into the stage and challenge the boss that guards this territory. And, and we got another one of those, which we'll do all on their own at the end. I feel like we need to go back in here, though, and, and do this right. I think that's what we're going to do. So we're going to head back inside the mall and get 100%, because that's what we're doing here. That's what the goal is. Let's hop back in. Okay, um... All right, we're gonna head back in. We gotta find four donuts and we gotta navigate the mall without getting lost. And we have two missing or hidden Waddle Dees we never found. So, geez Louise. This one was more difficult. The other ones were fairly linear. This one, honestly, I didn't pay attention. To be fair, I didn't pay attention to the little signs that I found because I didn't understand them until the very, very end. Um, but at least now I kind of know the layout. I don't think I have to re-get everything, although I don't know. Oh, I cool. I didn't realize I could get this guy. Oh, look at that. I just knocked that box into the... Oh, that's awesome. That's actually really awesome. Okay. Let's get a move on. Oh, I can knock those things down. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that's my new favorite thing is to knock enemies into enemies. That's awesome. I don't think I can take that. This is a pretty powerful ability right here. Boom. All right, let's do this because I know there's a lot of coins right here. And nothing major there, but some coins. We've got 15, almost 1600 coins. We still really haven't been to Waddle Dee Town yet. So in terms of knowing or not knowing what the coins are for, I wonder if we can make those little boxes bigger. That would be interesting. I just need to like double check some of these empty areas just because I'm not. There we go. Oh yeah, that was just a capsule. Okay, we got that one I think last time. So that's nothing new. Let's keep moving. We just need to not get lost, right? Okay, so there's a lollipop. I don't think that's a don't know. We need donuts, not lollipops. Oh, yeah, okay. This is this. I can run through here. Go this. Go up the ladder. That's not just money. There's no donuts there. Go this way. Come on. I want to take these guys out. Oh, look, at there's a Waddle Dee. Oh, never mind. We got that one. So you get a coin when you save them again. So that's that's good to know. You get a coin if you save a Waddle Dee a second time. Red coin. All right. Nothing that interesting. I love this. Uh, I love this. Um, what do you call this? A, a version? A kind? A type? Oh, jeez. All right. So this is where I made a mistake last time. So, the arrow says to go in the row before the burger. So, last time, 
I was an idiot and I went straight into this first row. But I want to go into the row before the burger. Is this one. What I do want to do first though is go all the way down here. Just because I want to know if there's something back here. I don't think there is. Alright. Let's take on him. Alright, row before the burger. That's this one right here. This is the way we need to go. This is how we do this level without getting lost. Um, I love how you can turn back at this point. Oh, nice burgers and fries on the table. That's so cool. That is absolutely epic. All right, here we go. Um, perfect. Nice stuff. We've saved another hidden Waddle D. That's what I like to see. Okay. Um, let's see here. Let's keep moving and see what's up. So I think it's good that they give you fire before this boss, and I don't think it matters. Oh, I don't think it matters which aisle you go down. You always fight this boss. But it's a good thing they give you fire because he is obviously ice or snow or something. I'm sure this does extra damage. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, they roll around unless I do something. Oh, I didn't realize that last time I fought him just because I think I hit that ball like right away with some snow. Oh, jeez, get me out of there. Oh, oh, did I get out? Oh, I missed. All right, he's done. All right, so far so good. We found one more of the hidden waddle bees, but what we haven't... Oh, I got a cape. What we haven't found yet, and we're going to grab the... Uh, we'll get rid of this, and... We haven't found the donuts, though. What I like about this one is I can freeze and then push, and I feel like that's a lot of fun. Freezing and pushing. <laughs> Freeze and push. All right, we need to find more donuts. Grab the egg, push this. All right, we're going this way. And we're keeping our... Oh, that was just a coin. I was jumping there to make sure that wasn't a donut. Because part of me was like, I wonder if that's a donut. Side of this and go. Oh man, that's the wrong way. Maybe one of these is a donut. I screwed this up last time too. Oh no, it's a capsule. We didn't get that capsule last time. We did not get that capsule, but we did it this time. So there's another item we haven't got. I mean, if you guys want to use this as a. Oh, this is why we needed the stuff to get in here. Although we already did this, I think it's a waddle bee. Yeah, so it's just a coin. I'm not gonna worry about killing myself to get that waddle bee. Oh, I do want this. Jeez. Oh, no, we died. I don't think that matters, but. No, oh, that's a donut. Eat four donuts. That's a very weird looking donut. It was a, um. It was a, uh, like a honey curler kind of donut. Interesting. All right, let's get out of here. Keep moving. Let's keep moving. Um, so now we're in this part, so we need to go figure out... Well, first of all, we're gonna do more because we did not stick around here long enough last time to actually figure out what's going on. I kind of just figured out what this said and then left, which was stupid. So let's actually spend more time here. So we want to go... I mean, there's two bits of information. I wonder if it changes every time. That would be interesting. Oh, well, this is just uh, an ice cream cone, I think. Yeah. Right, this is just an ice cream cone. 
Oh, we found another toy. I don't know if I ever found that toy either. Good stuff. All right, so that's the ice cream. And that is the piece of pie. I don't think that really matters unless there's multiple pieces of pie. There is, so that does matter. Okay. So at first I was like, oh, that doesn't matter. But it does because there are two pieces of pie on this side. And so obviously we needed to find out, um, we needed to find out which area to go through because, oh, okay, good, 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 good. I was like, oh, that doesn't matter. But I mean, why would they build something in the dust? That doesn't make any sense. Nothing back here. I'm just trying to see if there's any donuts because again, I was missing donuts. Come here. Come here. Alright, let's go the right way this time. And I think we'll finish it, but I'm still missing a Waddle Dee, and I'm still don't have all the donuts. So this is gonna take us like three runs at this point. Which is frustrating. <laughs> I don't want to do three runs. Alright, let's get these. I love how these guys don't hop off the chair to chase you. Like I love how they're just enamored with the the food and stuff. Like I think that's awesome. Donuts? Uh, donuts! That might actually be it. No, it's not it. We found a donut. There's the Waddle Dee we were missing, so that's good news. We've got all the Waddle Dees. Maybe the donuts aren't like everything else. Maybe you actually do have to collect, specifically collect all four again. It's very possible that's true. Anyway, here's the end. Oh, that was satisfying right there. All right, this is the end. And I don't think there's any donuts here. Unfortunately, I don't think there's... Oh, oh come on, fall down. Come on. Oh yeah, I forgot we followed the hole. So we're gonna miss out on that or is it gonna pop through? Oh, it pops through. And... Oh, oh I lost it. Well, let's be the bomb. <laughs> is there anything good? Like... I don't, really don't think so. Navigate the mall. Okay, so we did that. Good to know. We navigated the mall without getting lost. Which was not that difficult. How are you, you blunderbuss guy? Oh, there's a donut. Is that the last donut? Please tell me it's the last donut. Yes! Eat all four donuts, yes! Oh my goodness. I think that's everything. I think that's 100%. And then we get all those coins, because we already beat the level. All right, let's take a peek. I think that might be everything though, guys. Save the Waddle Dees, eat the donuts, navigate them all. 100% at that level. Which means we can now move on to the boss. And we got Blade Knight. We got, oh, nice. Just the captured Waddle Dee. Did we get four of these treasures or three? Water tank, I feel like we already have that one. So I'm guessing you can get multiples because I'm pretty sure I've got the water tank before. Oh, that's outstanding. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All Waddle Dee saved. Perfect. All right. So, before we take on the boss, we're going to do all of these little side things, I think. But we'll go back. Oh, what's this? Search. Oh, it costs to search. Okay. I, I, did anybody else see me throw up that red coin? Oh, never mind. I searched and found a red coin. It didn't cost me to do that. Okay, so this one has been done. This is three stars. And let's see how far back we have to go before. Okay, so we've done this. We've done that. So we're going to start over on this one right here. So vending mouth treasure. This should be fun. Let's check it out. All right, Pop Shots, a vending adventure. Time to beat one minute, 20 seconds. It's two star difficulty. I think we'll just play through these once. Um, we'll maybe come back during a live stream just to clean them all up, but I'll play each one once. All right, we got our vending machine and there we go. Oh, I got a thousand bullets. Interesting. This one is this one's much different, right? This one's much much different. And I'm I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Oh! Oh, 
Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Let's keep going. One can? What's one can gonna do me? I gotta stop firing when I don't need to. Oh, no, no, no. Ah, we fell. That's unfortunate. I guarantee you if you fall... Ooh, we can make it through. I guarantee you if you fall, you are not... Um, if you fall, you're not gonna be the best. These are fun, though. Like, I can get behind this. What is over here? Is there anything, like, worth it? Is there anything I have to do over there? Because I'm feeling like there's something happening here and I need to... Oh, there's switches. Okay. So, yes, I have to do the switches. Oh, that takes so much time. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Okay, I hit the switch. Let's go. Is this the end? Uh, yeah, we're near the end, but this is taking me more than a minute 20. I'm guessing this is taking me two and a half. I think you get three minutes. That's way more than what they give you. Okay. Oh, minute 26. I was only six seconds off. If I wouldn't have fallen, I bet you I would have done it. Oh my, that was so close. Okay. Like I said, we've completed it. I'm not so much worried. We got one of those little star things. We don't know what those are for yet. I'm not so much worried about beating the best time. I just kind of want to do these all. Fire treasure. Fast and fiery race to the cannon. 45 seconds is the uh, targeted clear time. I'm guessing we're going to jump into cannons. That's my only guess. Yeah. Okay. So we have to. So we're going to have to clear that box and do this and then get going. So you do have to clear the boxes or clear the obstacles. We learned that in, an, in a previous episode. Although I wonder if I do this and then do this and then do this. Oh, that's going to hurt. Oh, uh, you know what? That's a, that's a try again because I fell off the edge. So, good good fact is we start the timer and then clear the distractions. Not the other way around. Don't clear the distractions and then do the timer because you are not going to win. At least I'm going to assume you're not going to win. I'm going to assume you're not going to win. Oh, no, I didn't stop that guy. He could ruin everything. <laughs> All right. There we go. I mean, you can't go any faster. So I hope I do it within the allotted time because I couldn't do this any faster. I am... What I feel like is I'm maximizing my time right now. Like, I hope that was within 45 seconds. I don't even know how I do that faster. 34 seconds. Of course. Yes. Yes. Of course. Like I said, I don't know how I do that faster. <laughs> I don't know how. I don't think it's possible. All right. That's another one done. And I don't think you get anything extra special for... I don't think you get anything extra special for beating it. At least I don't know. Okay. Here's one. We got three more. Cone Mouth Treasure. Burst and rise, a path full of pipes. We're going to be doing a lot of ground pound stomps on pipes and then getting shot up with water. So, I think I... Yeah, I think we figured this out. Alright, mouthful mode. And then we gotta go. Oh, 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 I thought it missed. Let's just keep going. I don't think I can be worried about taking damage. I don't... If I do worry about taking damage... I don't know about you, but I'm feeling pretty good about this run. I Maybe I shouldn't be feeling good about this run. But I am. Oh, come on. Can I jump? I can jump a little bit. But, like, not enough to... This should be the end. They didn't give me much time. Like, I finished with 10 seconds. Clear time, 49. Ah, I was four seconds off. That felt like a really good run, too, for being four seconds off. All right. That's okay. We got one of the things. So, uh, that one's done. At least we've beat it once. Ice treasure. Freezing, freeze and fling, skating on ice. I honestly hate, I hate the ice thing. 
I hate the ice. I know I'm not gonna be good at this one just because I hate it. Like, I hate how. Like, can you just skate forever? Like, is that. Oh, I can just skate forever. Okay, sweet. So let's spin. Oh! Okay, maybe I don't hate this as much as I thought I did. Oh, stop! <laughs> That's not gonna help me. All right, let's go. Whoa, look at me go. Oh, that hurt. Every time I hit something too, right? You're in trouble. No, 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 no! Okay, that was a pretty good finish, I think. I'm not too upset with that. Okay, that one's done. Not well, but it is done. It's only a one star. I hate the ice. All right, last one. Ranger treasure. Deadly, ready, aim, fire, distant targets. I love this guy. I like the blunderbust, although I'm not good at aiming. I've never been good at aiming, and I feel like, I mean, the bigger, the longer you wait, the bigger it gets. So I mean like, it, the ball will get bigger, so if you really suck at aiming. But this is where I'm gonna get. Oh my goodness, see, like, look, this is already turning out ter- like, oh yeah, this is gonna be- <laughs> This is gonna be terrible. I might not even finish within the allotted time. And that's not even the hardest one? You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh, did I get that one? Oh, I did. This is so bad. This is so bad. I mean, I'm gonna get it completed. Like, I've completed it, but it's so bad. <laughs> I don't even wanna do it again. All right, that is all of the um, treasure maps. One minute, I was only 12 seconds off. So actually with a little bit of practice, that one might not actually be that hard. But that's okay, we got another one of those little colorful stars. That means all of the treasure on this one is finished. Can you like check stage list? Oh, you can, look at this. And then I can hit X to pull up the treasure list. And it tells you whether you've done them within the targeted time or not, but I've done them all on this level. So that's perfect. So, um, here we are. Brawl at the mall. Time to face the boss. I'm excited for this. Let's do it. Okay, Brawl at the mall. Of course, ooh, this looks different. Okay, so we clear the stage. We're going to get our three Waddle Dees, of course. But then there are four mystery objectives within the Brawl at the mall. I'm excited. We'll see if we can find them. Probably have to play this more than once, but let's check it out. Oh, my goodness. I think this was part, or at least part of this level was available in the, um, in the demo. No, it, was it available in the demo or, yeah, it was available in the demo, yeah. All right, let's get going. Oh, okay. Always good to explore the area. We're using the bomb guy, which isn't great, but it's always good to explore the area just because you don't want to miss anything. Generally, things are pretty easy to see. Like, obviously, we can see there's nothing here. Uh, that we need to grab we can probably just head up to the next level, but you know, you don't want to miss anything All right, let's get a move on All right uh, Oh, there's water or fire to the right or is that banana? What the heck? Let's check this out. This is a big stash of bananas Is this because we're going into a boss and that somehow matters? That seems weird. 
Oh, let's go back for a second and see if we there's not something over on the other side of the escalator. Um, let's see. Anything over here? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, I thought maybe there'd be something there. Like I said, check the nooks and crannies because you never know what the, the four optional objectives are going to be and we need to sort those out. All right, so we've got our sword and hmm. yeah, you can do a spin move. Oh, you can see the boss. Oh, that's so cool, guys. You can see the boss. Oh, now he sees us. <laughs> uh oh. So are we just right into the boss fight here? We wiggle to get ourselves. I love it. He's just like squishing us with his fingers. <laughs> squish, 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 squish. Strong armed beast. Okay. Hopefully we can do this. I'm gonna hide the thing in the corner just so we're not missing out on it. I still haven't figured out what those stars mean. Oh jeez, we lost our thing. Let's get back. This guy's tough. I have heard people say that, <laughs> or my good friend Riley Little, Riley shout out. Uh, I think at Riley Little on Twitter. He was the one that said uh, Kirby is a while ago. He said this way back in March. He said, early March, he said, Kirby is the Elden Ring for kids. <laughs> All right, so we're just trying to figure out how this guy operates. All right, so he jumps. So we can tell when he's going to swing, and when he swings, we got to jump, and then we just got to whack him with our sword, right? Because right now, we're not doing any damage. We're literally just walking around. Let's get in there. Try to get in there. So he's got two moves. He's gonna, yeah, he's gonna whack us and then throw stuff at us. So we just gotta make sure we start taking down some health when he's not doing those things. Oh yeah, well, oh, we got him slipped through his legs. <laughs> That's cool. That was one of the hidden objectives. Nicely done. All right, now he's gonna go back to throwing stuff. Let's get back in there. You can see the Waddle Dees on his chest, by the way. You can see that right there. I don't know if you can, you, we won't be able to. Oh, we're doing some damage. He's gonna stomp. Get down, nice. Oh. oh, okay, so he does like a little pulse action. And now he's gonna start throwing stuff again. So this guy is not actually that tough once you figure out... Once you figure him out, right, he's not that tough. The thing is, is figuring out what all those hidden objectives are gonna be. Like, that could be difficult. All right, that spin move I'm doing is not really paying off. It's not worth it. It doesn't really help. Oh, that one did. Oh, jeez! Oh, oh, get out! Get out! Get out! Oh, my goodness! <laughs> I just wrecked me. Wow. Oh, we're almost there. We're almost there. There he is. Down he goes. That was... I mean, it was decently difficult for a first world boss. It was de decently difficult for a first world boss. There's our Waddle Dees. I only saw us finish one of the four hidden objectives. So, oh, two of the four hidden objectives defeat Goromondo with the sword ability. There are multiple abilities, so I'm guessing we're gonna have to play this again and again with different abilities. I think it'll highlight for us now when we exit out. Oh, it doesn't. All right, so clear within two minutes. Wow. Uh... <laughs> All right, we'll hop back in. Like I said, we're gonna try to do everything. This might kick us to the next world, but we'll come back, finish world one. World two will be a separate video, but we're gonna come back to this boss fight and try to do it within two minutes. Maybe a different uh, ability will be better. All right, here we are. We can just go right back in, right? It's saving. Oh, no, something's gonna happen. We're going back to Waddle D Town. Okay, let's see what's up here. Um. Oh, it's like a gotcha machine. Gotcha machine volume one is now available. Turn the crank to get a figure. Try to collect the whole set. Well, yeah. Yeah, okay, while well, the weapon station is now open, here you can make your copy abilities even stronger. That might be beneficial actually to when we have to do something. All right, let's just finish up here and then we'll 
we'll, we'll wander around Waddle D Town just a little bit, and then we'll head back out and try to finish up that final boss level. I think we have to go there. Um, yeah, let's head there, and then and let's chat. Welcome to Waddle Dee Weapons Shop. I work with all types of copy abilities. It's kind of my thing. Any copy abilities you find out there will become available in here. Pop in and grab one anytime. I guess I can press the A button again just to get all the text on screen. Oh, and guess what else? I can help you evolve those abilities to make them much stronger. This blueprint contains some incredible techniques. We can use it to evolve your ability. All right, let's, let's try evolving one right now. All ready my tools. Okay, let's see what we're going to evolve. Um, thanks for waiting. The cutter ability can now be evolved into the crank cram cutter. Let's do that. Thanks for waiting. The fire ability can now be evolved into the volcano fire. Good to know. So we can upgrade two of our abilities. So let's go check this out. Uh, swing. Oh, okay. Sorry, it's going to... We, I can't do this. I have to read first. To evolve this copy ability, you'll need star coins and rare stones. Okay. So those rare stones are the things that we earn for beating the treasure quest. So that's good to know. All right. Let's 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 figure this out. You can find rare stones on the treasure roads hidden throughout the world map. Yeah. Try those out. We already did. We have seven of them. I prepped everything in advance this time, so we're all set. Just press A to evolve the ability. Okay. Let's press A. Would you like to evolve the cutter ability? Yes, we do. And... This is such a unique feature because this will make certain things easier. Like that boss fight, if we can use the upgraded cutter, we can maybe do more damage and finish that fight in two minutes or less. Like that's awesome. I love this kind of, this is cool. This is a good inclusion. The cutter ability has now been involved into the chakram cutter. Beautiful. And it's got little, it's a little different to look at. Success, all done. The cutter ability has evolved. All right, awesome. If you find more blueprints, just bring them to me. I'll use them to evolve your abilities even further. Okay, so we have to find blueprints. Well, we can upgrade the fire. Let's do that one too, right? The ability... Oh, let's go back and check that out. The ability is hot, hot, hot. Light fuses burn through obstacles, toast your enemies. Okay, so we already know all that. So, oh... Fall... So, okay, go... Let, let's look, look here. So, on this one, you can see our power is 1.5 and our rapid fire is 1.5. If we go to the upgraded ability, we're at 2.5 and 2. So, yeah, like power... Double the power, or just one more? Uh, just one more power. Let's evolve. Might as well. Cost us two more and some coins. So you need those coins, because you need 500. So that cost, we just spent a thousand coins upgrading this, this, uh, ability. Honestly, we only have, like, 1,500. So, you're gonna need coins, so make sure you're collecting them while you play. Alright, volcano fire. Beautiful. Alright, let's head out of here. We need to get out of here. We won't do the, uh, we won't do the gotcha machine right now. Uh, we'll do that for fun sometime when we got some time, but let's continue on with the story. We're going to head back to the world map. When you're ready to explore some more areas, just hop on the world map or the warp point. Sorry. All right. Let's hop on the warp point because we do want to go back and, um, wow. Look at that ability. <laughs> Holy cow. Maybe we should keep this fire ability when we try to take down the boss again, right? Although, we might need to use a different ability. Alright, it's going to show us World 2, but we're not going there yet, gang. Oh, very cool. That looks awesome. Ever Bay Coast. Look, stoked for that. You defeat the boss and open up a new area. I'm stoked for this, but we're going to head backwards. We're going to backtrack. Hey, there's the level, Abandoned Beach. But we're going to head back. So, seamlessly, you can go between the areas, but we're heading into the Brawl at the Mall again. And so we have to clear within two and we still don't know what that last one is. I'm going to guess it's using another ability, but we'll find out. So let's hit start on this one and uh, let's get into it. I'm thinking when we get upstairs, we don't need to explore because we know exactly what we need to do. We just need to get up. Wow. That might do it within two minutes, but let's just skip these enemies, head up the stairs, check out what the various abilities are. Because I'm going to guess that defeating him with a different ability is is probably the last hidden uh, objective. So, um, let's go. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving, see what the boss is like. I'm going to try to focus this time and get it. But first, 
Let's go check out the copy abilities. What do we got here? Um... All right, we've got the bomb, the sword, and the ice. Let's just take the fire in there, defeat the boss, and then see what happens. And if it's not, we'll come back, we'll try the ice. If it's not the ice, we'll come back and we'll try the bomb ability. But let's just worry right now about beating the boss within two minutes. That means we need to, we can't be, like last time we were running around the outside waiting for like an opportunity. We have to go all in. Like we literally have to go all in on this one. We can't be running around the outside, otherwise we won't finish. All right, let's do this thing. Okay, so using the volcano fire was obviously the best way to go because that took like 30 seconds. <laughs> that was so powerful. Oh my goodness. But, however, I still think we only got one of the things. So we're going to have to come back in again and use either the bomb or the ice and see if that does anything. Is it going to highlight? Oh, it is. Clear without taking any damage. So we should probably use the fire again. But we don't have to worry about doing it really fast this time. We just need to worry about staying out of his way. Let's give it a go. We can do this. It's that's pretty difficult doing it without any damage. You see the you see all those YouTubers doing like the hey, we beat the boss without taking damage. That has never been something I could do, but we're gonna try it. Let's get in there and try it uh, without taking damage. We can do it. I know we can do it. So we will do this until we we beat the boss without taking damage. What I'm gonna do though, so that we're not here for an hour, is I'm just we're gonna play this without commentary. And what we'll do is we'll do the we'll edit we'll edit the the runs so that you only see the run where where we actually do it without damage. That's what we'll do. So we're gonna change over, I think, to the ice guy, just because he can skate really fast and get away from those spin attacks. So I think that'll be kind of a beneficial, a beneficial uh, uh, copy ability. Uh, but let's get this last one. That means we've 100 percent the first world, and that means we can move on to episode and video number two. Enjoy, everyone. And I just wanted to say that um, we took damage here, so there's no point in us keeping going. So I'm gonna we're gonna stop right now and just go in and try again. And we're gonna try again and try again and try again and try again on on video until we can finally cut to the one where we cut to the the, the part where we actually where we actually beat it without taking damage. So all right.
So I'm starting to wonder if using regular Kirby sucking up the stars and shooting the stars at him wasn't the best option <laughs> the whole time. Because, <laughs> like, you can keep yourself far away from him, right? You can keep yourself far away from him and... <laughs> and do some decent damage. I mean, not right now, apparently. I'm not getting any of those. Alright. Wow, we're almost there. Like, I'm feeling like this might be it. I'm feeling like this might be it. Although, I've been here many times before already while we were creating this video. And this is probably attempt, I would say, probably 50. I'm going to go with this as attempt number 15 to, to beat him without taking it. Oh, we took damage. I think we took damage. Oh, no, 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 no. On that last swipe, we hit him and took damage. Yes! Yes! It didn't matter. It didn't matter. Oh, my goodness. This took like 15 tries. <laughs> awesome. Well, there we go, guys. That is the first world 100% complete. Couldn't have done it without your guys' virtual support. I knew you were supporting me, despite this being a premiere. But guys, thank you so, so much for coming out for this episode. This is it. We've done it. You've seen it. This is amazing. Uh, as you know, I always like to uh, say hello to our Patreon and YouTube members. So a big shout out to Talika, Lynn, Olga, Minin, Gladiator, Carmelo, Bublio, Brenda, Gisela, Danny, Total Blanky, and Four Scars Gaming, Amy Grace, Jake, Aranis, Glory, Garrett Peters, and Joe Rhino. Those are fantastic YouTube members. If you would like to become a YouTube member, please, I would love to have you. I would love to have you. You can hit the button down below. We're doing some really cool stuff, and I want you to be a part of that, and it would be awesome to have more members on our YouTube channel. To our Patreon folks, Gladiator, Andrew, Alexis, Kyrie, Homie Drew, Ada, Amila, Marge, and Meenan. To you guys as well, thank you so, so much. A lot of you are double supporters on both platforms. Thank you so much. It means so much. It does allow me to do things like Triangle Strategy early in, earlier this year or earlier this month. It would not have been a game that I would normally purchase and play, uh, but uh, through some donations, I was able to do it, create some video, and it was a lot of fun. So thank you guys for that. To Total Blank, who keeps our Discord looking very, very nice. Thank you, my friend. And to Matt C for the awesome, which I took off, but I'll put it back on. The awesome little icons and stuff that he creates. Thank you, my friend. They mean the world to me, and I love to look at them, and they are so, so good. Um, there we go. You've saved all the Waddle Dees in the natural planes. And that's it? That's all we get? Okay. And so now, we're going to move on to the next world. We're not going to start it right now, but... On the next episode, we're going to hop into Abandoned Beach, and I can't wait to do that with you guys. But until next time, thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day. Goodbye, everyone.